In this short video, we're going to take a look at how to style your footnotes and endnote within Microsoft Word. Now, I have a sample document set up here. So we have lots of text and lots of images within this, and it's just using placeholder content, but it doesn't really matter for the purposes of this video. So let's go ahead and add a footnote to this particular page. So I'm just going to insert one here. So let's go to this area here at the end of this paragraph. We're going to go up to references and we're going to make use of insert footnote. So you'll see the footnote has now been added here. Here's a little number. And if we scroll down to the bottom, let me just zoom in to make it a bit clearer. We can see we can add the footnote. So we would add our footnote in here. So So there we go, we've added our footnote to the bottom of this page. Of course, that's going to be the relevant text for your footnote, but it doesn't matter too much in this example. Now, if we were to add another footnote, so let's just go down to here and let's insert footnote, you'll see it nudges things up. Now, this is just sitting above the footer of the page and we can just put in some more text. So this is our second footnote. Okay, so we've now added two footnotes to this page. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down and we're just going to add one more into another page. So we'll just insert the footnote here. Like that. So we now have three footnotes within our document. Now, normally when it comes to styling text, we can use normal styles. So let's have a look at some text here. If I selected or clicked in this text here and went to the home tab, we could apply formatting like this, for example. Okay, so that text there is now formatted like that. However, when it comes to footnotes, there aren't any styles for footnotes within here by default. Okay, so what most users will do is they will select the text and then direct formatting. So we might use bold here, we might use red, and let's underline this just so it really stands out. So there's nothing wrong with doing that. But there is a slight problem, and that is if I go down to my next footnote down here, for example, I have to try and remember how I formatted that. So I did bold, I think I did underline, and I might forget what red I've used, and I might end up using orange. And then, for example, there we have three footnotes with three different styles. So in this video, we're going to take a look at how to properly style these using a sort of workaround, if you like. So let's just undo everything we've done there so we can put this back to how they looked before we applied any formatting, just like this. So what I would recommend you do is locate your first footnote and style it in the way that you like. So let's copy or let's select, should I say, this footnote here. Let's go up to the Styles pane within the Home tab, and we are going to click on New Style. So we're basically going to create our own footnote style. So let's give a name in here for the style because style one isn't really of much use. So I'm going to put footnote. And then you can go in and start having a look at different style types. We can have um, paragraph, character, blah, blah, blah. I'm only interested in leaving this as paragraph for now. And then you can also choose which style you want to um, to base it on. So we could do footer, footnote, header. Let's leave it as footnote text because that's what it is. And then what I want to do is in here, we're going to apply some formatting. So let's make our footnotes slightly smaller. Let's italicize them. Let's change their color to blue. And let's indent them slightly like this. Okay, so we've now made some changes to this particular footnote style that we are creating. And I've purposely made them a little bit different to how the rest of the text within the document is formatted. So let's go to OK. And then what you'll see is we now have a footnote style up here. And if it's not displayed for you, just click on the down pointing arrow and you should see it within here. So there it is there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this text and apply that style. Now, if I go to the next one, I'm going to apply that style as well. And let's find our other footnote and select that and apply that styling too. So now, anytime I add another footnote, let's add this one in here. What we're going to do is we're going to go to references. We're going to insert the footnote.
like this. And then we're going to simply select that footnote. And because we've already got our style, we'll apply our style to that text. Now that's a really good way of styling. But the one last thing I want to show you is how you can quickly select all of your footnotes and change their style at once. Because now we've applied the styling throughout our document. If we decided that actually we don't want this to be indented, we don't want to have to work through this one at a time. So what we can do is we can right click on the style here and we can go to modify. Then what we can do is we can remove the indentation. So let's move it back to the left, click OK. And you'll see it's moved it, but if we scroll up, they've moved as well. And that's the benefit of selecting a style and applying that to the text and making use of it. So there isn't a default style within the styles pane for footnotes and for endnotes, but you can create your own. And then the last thing that I want to show you here that's really useful is if you want to see where all of these footnotes are within your document, because we've applied styling, all you need to do is right click and then choose select all four instances. And you will see as we scroll down, they have all been selected. And if you really wanted to at this point, you could then maybe modify or you could apply some direct formatting from here, just like that. So obviously in doing that, I have changed the color of them, but that hasn't adjusted it in here. I would have to right click and modify and then change my color in here, for example, for that particular style. Hopefully that was useful. If it was, make sure you hit that like button. Feel free to drop any comments below if maybe use a different method or if you think there's an easier way of doing this, or indeed if this has helped you, then please do let me know in the comments area below. And of course, if you are new to the channel and you haven't done so already, I would love it if you could hit that subscribe button to show your support. Be sure to check out the other Microsoft Word videos on this channel and thanks again for watching.